my choice of drug and addiction was cutting. By hurting myself, I felt I deserved it. I was punishing myself because I hated myself, because everyone else hated me. That's the way I took it. Jesse Morales lived in a secret prison of self-injury. Growing up, he often escaped to his closet. It's a very dark world and it's very sad. I was always crying, but that was my place where I wouldn't get yelled at, I wouldn't mess up. My mom was, would really say hurtful things to me, and in Spanish, they sound worse. Um, so it put a really big fear in me and it really hurt hard, because words hurt deep. A troubled relationship with his father left even deeper scars. As a young person, when you feel like you're not loved by your father because he's not giving you that attention, to you, life seems worthless. You feel of less value. For me, I felt like a failure. I felt like an embarrassment and a burden to my parents. The rejection bred feelings of intense anger. Soon, Jesse became his own worst enemy. I was like a, a soda bottle shaken with no release. You just had the lid on. I had no way to explode. So for me, it was mainly where I reached boiling point, where I'd have to cut myself. Things that triggered me to cut myself was my anger. When I would do something wrong, when I'd be rejected or made fun of, as a self-injurer, I lied a lot. I manipulated people because I didn't want them to know what I was doing. He also hid his addiction to alcohol. Over time, he found new ways to punish himself. I started punching myself, and I could cover those up easy by saying I got in fights, or I tripped, or I hurt myself at PE, but I would just punch myself, and I would beat myself with anything, with my hands, um, with golf clubs, with chains, a baseball bat. It wasn't comfortable, because I was walking in pain all the time, but that pain is what got me through the other pain. It was just one pain covering up another pain. By a senior year, Jesse feared his self-inflicted violence would explode on someone else. Well, I got to the point where I realized if I continued living the life I was living and behaving the way I was, I was gonna end up killing somebody and being in prison for life, I was gonna end up killing myself. So I got to the point where I needed to do something different. One weekend, his parents' pastor asked him to drive some teenagers to a youth convention. And there was 3,000 kids, teenagers, and they were praising God and crying. And that did something to me. That was the first time, that was the first time I, that I felt the presence of God, man. I can still remember it, man. It was just like a wave just hit me, but it didn't take me all the way down. I, I, it was just enough to just give me a little taste. He searched the Bible to find out more about God. I was in my bedroom, and I'm like, if this God is real, I'm not gonna know unless I give him a try. I asked Jesus to come into my heart. I asked him to forgive my sins, and I just put my trust in him from there and said, Lord, take my life, I surrendered it to you, because I can't do it on my own. I tried, and I couldn't. It felt like he was over me, and he was like, maybe put a, a blanket or something over me, covering me, and just hugging me. I felt good, and for once in my life, I felt like, man, I'm not gonna do this on my own. God's gonna take this away. God is gonna get me in the path that I need to go. Jesse made Christian friends at his new church. He brought people in my life that were there to love on me and to help me. He says Jesus healed all of his addictions. I made it a habit to pray. Instead of getting down on, getting down on the ground and, and cutting myself like I normally would, I'd get on my knees and pray. I finally had an identity and I identified myself with Christ because I knew who Christ was. I know he created me. I know that I'm in his image. I knew that he valued me and I'm important to him. So I no longer define myself by what the world thought of me. I no longer just define myself by what my parents or the past defined me, because I was defining myself by my past, because my future was Jesus Christ, so I defined myself by Him. Jesse made the choice to forgive his parents before they passed away. The key to healing is forgiveness. Not only did God give me the strength and power to forgive my parents, but He gave me the power and strength to forgive myself. Jesse met the love of his life in 1995. Together, he and his wife, Tammy, are raising a daughter, Trinity. Jesse has a growing passion to minister to young people who struggle with self-injury. God is a God of miracles and a God of power, and He'll change you. Doesn't matter what you've done, man. Don't hold back. His hand's reaching out there. Take it. Take it, because He will take your hand, and He will take you down that road of restoration and healing.